What is up guys, this is Gnosis, and in today's video we're going to talk about how to edit both faster and more consistently in Fortnite. Now this guide will be starting out with very basic beginner level tips, but it will get more advanced as it goes on, so be sure to stick around even if it does seem a little too simple at first. I am confident that after watching this video and getting in a few days of practice, that you will start editing at a speed you never imagined possible, and choking less edits in real games. Now let's get into it. The very first thing that you need to be aware of when trying to edit with more speed and more consistency is your reticle placement. Watch out on this corner edit, I'm dragging my reticle such a far distance, really swinging out wide and exaggerating the motion. Now watch me do the same edit, but this time with a tight reticle, barely moving it in the path I needed it to follow to do the edit. As simple as this seems, this is the number one mistake that I see beginner level players making while doing edits. They think by flicking their cursor around super fast like this, they're doing it faster, but in reality these short, tight motions give you so much more speed. Another form of good reticle placement is already having the beginning of your edit lined up before you even hit your edit key. For example, let's look at that same edit from before. I know that I begin this edit from the middle tile on the bottom row, and I know that this area of the wall is where the tile will appear, so already having my reticle there before I even enter edit mode will make this so much faster. To take this a step further, let's look at how we keep our reticle in perfect placement during our triple edits. Our goal when doing triple edits should always be to have as little movement as possible, and always having our reticle lined up as close to the start of the next edit as we can. So for this triple edit here, we can drag both side tiles of the floor. This leaves our reticle where the far corner tile of the cone will be. Now we don't even have to drag our reticle to start this next edit. We can simply hit the edit button and we are already in position to edit the cone as well. And now look, for the wall we are once again already in position to start the edit from the bottom dragging up. Once we confirm the edit, we are now in place to restart the process with the floor edit and you can just keep repeating this process. So now let's do this again in slow motion so you can see how little we actually have to move our reticle when doing triple edits. Once you can master this reticle placement, you will be amazed at how easy they become, and the speed and consistency that you can do them with will become unreal. Now the next topic we need to cover in this video is editing with your blueprints out, and this is something that seems so obvious, yet so few players are doing it consistently, and it's even something I just recently had to force myself to get into the habit of. For example, let's say someone is ramping to the side of you here, and you need to establish peace control. Many players would place the cone in the wall, pull out their shotgun, edit and place the surrounding walls, once again, pull out their shotgun, and then do their final edit before pulling their gun out one last time for the elimination. The correct way to do this is to simply keep your blueprints out all the way up until it's time to take that final shot. I find it fascinating that so many players just don't do this, including myself until very recently, because it makes no sense to keep pulling your gun out for no reason and slow yourself down. But for whatever reason, it is something that is built into our muscle memory when we play, and something we do have to make a focus to train ourselves to change. This drill here is a great visual example of just how much faster your editing becomes once you switch to doing blueprint edits. Sure, I did have a respectable speed despite pulling my shotgun out after every edit, but look at just how much faster and cleaner this play becomes once I leave it tucked away. Another huge benefit of editing with your blueprints out is not just the speed at which you can do them, but also the distance at which you can do them. For example, let's say I'm in a box fight with an enemy, and this is his wall across from me. I can take this wall with my AR, but then if I immediately switch my shotgun, I'm not able to edit the wall to make a play on. But now look what happens when I have my blueprints out. Suddenly, I can edit this far wall despite being an entire tile away. This is such a huge advantage to having fights, as being able to edit this far wall while also staying behind your own wall for added protection will make it nearly impossible for the enemies to get a shot off on you. Now if you aren't already convinced of the power of blueprint edits, I have one last technique for you that is an absolute game changer. Let's say for example that you have a Dorito edit on this wall. If you have your pickaxe or your gun out, the only way you can reset this edit is by placing your reticle over a part of the wall that is still here. If I'm my reticle up here in the area that is now missing, I'm not able to reset it. But guess what? With your blueprints out and your wall build selected, you can now reset this edit by hovering anywhere in the edited out area. Now you may be wondering how important this actually is, and the answer is this is incredibly important under certain circumstances during a fight. 
The best example is let's say I'm ramping towards someone as they are ramping back at me. I'm going to throw a cone over their ramp to stop them in place and then throw walls up all around them to establish peace control. Once I have them boxed, I'm going to take my shotgun out and shoot. But with the current shotgun meta, we do not always have the option to hit a 200 damage headshot, so they will still be alive and able to shoot back after our first shot. To defend ourselves, all we have to do is pull out our wall blueprint and reset. Now this original wall we put up, which we can't even see because our ramp is blocking it, is able to reset and block any returning shots. From here, we can just find a new angle to complete the play and get the elimination. By mastering the reticle placement that we learned earlier in this video, and combining it with the blueprint editing we just learned, you will have the ability to edit at the absolute fastest speed achievable, and with great consistency on top of that. With this knowledge, all you need now is practice to build up your muscle memory, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the best creative maps that you can use to practice your edits. I'm going to showcase one map that is more for beginners, and then a second map that is perfect for advanced level players, so let's jump right in. This first map is called the Editing Dictionary and was created by recent Phase 5 winner Flea. This is always the creative map that I recommend beginner level players trying to work on their edits because nearly every combination of edits you need to learn are somewhere on this map. You could spend hours here just going through every possible scenario and that is exactly what I suggest you do to begin training your reticle placement. I suggest keeping notes of which drills on this map you seem to struggle the most with, that way once you go through all of them you can come back the next day and really focus in on the ones you're finding difficult. Also do not be afraid to improvise throughout the course as well. For instance, when I do these edit downs through the cones, I like to throw in a ramp and flip it just to add to the difficulty a bit and give better practice. The other map I want to share with you guys today is called Orange Guy's Warm-Up Map, and this is such a unique map because he has somehow set it up to where the build pieces are closer together than normal, forcing you to really perfect your timing between hitting your edit key, clicking down for the edit, and then letting go of the click before once again hitting your edit key to begin the next edit. The timing of edits is something that a lot of players really struggle with, and this map is the perfect way to practice that. Now keep in mind that these drills are incredibly difficult, and you may struggle to do them with any type of consistency, but don't worry because that is the point of the map, it's to really push you as a player and force you to challenge yourself. My suggestion would be to just start with the easy scenario for each drill, and then slowly work your way up to impossible for a 1 or 2 month period. This may seem pointless for increasing your edit speed in real games, but I do firmly believe that getting this timing down is beneficial and will go a very long way towards you becoming a faster editor. Alright guys, there you have it, my guide to increasing your edit speed and consistency. Now if you found this video helpful, it would mean the world to me if you could drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Also, feel free to drop by my Discord server anytime if you want to chat or even run some games on Fortnite. I will leave a link to that in the description. And until next time, keep on grinding.